Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix high RAM, memory, CPU and disk usage on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I will be sharing 10 effective solutions that is updated and tested in 2023. It's working and it will surely improve the performance of your PC and laptop. So make sure that you do not skip any part because after watching this video, I'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed and you do not need to watch any other video. If this works for you, do not forget to like and subscribe and for any question, any problem, let me know in the comment section. Now before proceeding, I would recommend you that try closing all the application that you are currently not using. So what you have to do, you need to make a right click on the windows icon and choose task manager. Now here, look for the application that you are not currently using because they are occupying your bandwidth, your CPU usage, your memory usage. So look for the application, make a right click on it and choose end task. Once you are done, you have to close it. Now in the first solution, we have to disable few services from your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So click on the search box, type here services. From the suggestion, choose services app. Now here you have to look for a service called SysMain. So you have to press S key so that you can come to the S section. And then here you have to look for SysMain. Once you get it, double click on it. The startup type should be set to automatic. You have to choose it to disabled and then click on stop. Then click on apply and then click on OK. You can also look for another service that is super fetch. If you do not find it, it's all OK because many people, they have both the services. Many of the people, they only have either sysmain or super fetch. So whichever you get, you just need to disable them. Once done, just close it. Now we have to make some changes from the registry. So click on the search box, type here REGEDIT. And then from the suggestion, choose registry editor. Now here in the registry, you will be getting this path. You just need to copy the path from the description and paste here on the top. And then you will directly come to this memory management section. It's in computer HK local machine system current control set control session manager and memory management. Once you come in the memory management on the right hand side, you will see clear page file at shutdown. You need to make a double click on it and change the value data from zero to one. And then you have to click on OK. Once done, you have to copy another path from the description or you can manually come to HK local machine system control set 001 services and then NDU. Once you click on NDU on the right hand side, you will see the start entry. You have to make a double click on it and you need to change the value data from two to four. Once done, click on OK and now you can close the registry box. And now in order to reduce the memory and the RAM usage, there is a software called memory reduct. This is a very effective uh, tool that will be surely reducing your memory and the CPU usage. So what you need to do, you will be getting the link of this website in the description. Once you come here, you have to click on free download. It's free and safe. So once you download, you have to install it. And once installed, you will be getting this application memory reduct. This is a small uh, in size and it comes and look like this. So before running this, let me open the task manager and show you the current uh, CPU and the memory usage. So right now you can see my memory usage is around 8.5%. That is 56%. So what I will do now, I will just click on clean memory over here and you will see the changes. Then click on yes. And now you can see that the memory usage is going down from 8 and 53%. It's just up to 30%, 4.6, 4.3. And you can see that it will be reducing as much as possible. So right now you can see that from 52%, it just came to 27%. Next, you need to choose the adjust for best performance settings. So click on your search box, type here sysdm.cpl. Hit enter. The system properties will be up. Now here you have to click on the advanced section from the top in menu. Under performance, you have to click on settings. And here you need to pick the option adjust for best performance. Then click on apply. And then click on OK. After that, you will see that there will be a drop in the disk usage and even in the CPU usage. Alright, so you have to close this as well. 
Next, you need to disable the startup application that you can do from your task manager only. So from the top end menu, click on startup. And here you have to look for the application that you don't want that it should load up with the operating system because this will be coming along with your PC that will be slowing down your booting speed and even overall performance of your computer. So let's say I'm using uTorrent. I don't want that it should come along with the computer. Whenever I will need it, I will manually open it. So just make a right click on it and choose disable. Do the same for the all other application that you don't want during the startup like Epic Game Launcher, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft OneDrive, all kind of third party application. You have to look for it and disable from here. Once you are done, you can close it. Again, click on the search box, type power cfg.cpl. Hit enter. Now here you have to assure that your power plan has been set to either high performance or ultimate performance. So if you do not find the high or ultimate performance, then you can click on show additional plan. And here you can pick high performance. All right. In case, even if you do not find high performance or ultimate performance, then I have already created a video. You can watch that video and bring any kind of power plan back. All right. So just set to high performance or ultimate performance. And then you need to close it again. Click on the search box. Type here clean MGR from the suggestion. Choose disk cleanup. Now this will be calculating the space. Now here you have to check all the options like Windows Update Cleanup, Microsoft Defender Anti-Virus, Temporary Internet File, Windows Error Report, DirectX Shader Cache, Delivery Optimization File, Recycle Bin. If you do not want that your deleted item should be restored again, then you have to click on Recycle Bin as well and check all the other options from here and then you will find around 13.4 GB of space will be free out. All right, so you have to check all this option, then you have to click on OK. And then you need to wait for some time, depending how much data is there, it will may take some time. Now, finally, I would also recommend that you should optimize and defrag your hard drive. So what you have to do, just click on the search box and type here DFRGUI. And from the suggestion, choose defragment and optimize drive. And once the drive comes up, you will have to select your C drive and then click on optimize. Now it will be optimizing and surely it will be improving the performance of your disk usage. And after applying all these solutions, you have to now make a restart. And after that, you will see that there will be a great change. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully this complete list of solution will surely fix your high disk, RAM, memory and CPU usage on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.